just taken off the uh, crankcase where uh, Harry got his lovely little hole. I'm going to uh, take all these bolts out, which I've all loosened them all up. Take her off and see what uh, see what it looks like inside. And then I'll just take it down to local uh, down to Richard at Les Pena Motors motorcycles and um, yeah see if he can uh, uh, give it a good a good weld up or uh, know somebody that can can do the job and uh, hopefully it won't cost too much and uh, shouldn't take too long <coughs> okay well I've taken all the bolts out that I thought it was going to take out of that but um, it seems pretty tight I don't know whether it's just because of the uh, of the gasket but um, so I've gone to the manual and uh, so there's a few more things I'm going to take this off and I think this as well um, and then it'll show some more bolts so I will continue doing the non-man thing and going by the manual surprised actually how um, these aren't on tight at all. I think I'm going to have to invest in a, um, a torque wrench when I put them back on so I don't put them back on too tight or too, uh, or too soft because I know as I'm doing them up with the tightness that they're at, for me that's going to feel like they're too loose um, or not tight enough so I might end up over tightening them. Just winging it. I tell you what, it's not easy having a bloody bum knee trying to do this. I can still find a little bits of bloody weed and grass. <laughs> and he gave it a really good wash down, and uh, every time I take bloody stuff off, I was taking the bottom plate off. And, uh, yeah, bits of weed. Ah, fucking hell. Ah, oh, spiky weeds. And uh, yeah, that that uh, red dust, man, that's everywhere. Every time you move something, all these little bits of uh, grains of red sand come out. Alright, so. Ah, so there is another one in there. There's another bolt there. And uh, there's another one there. Uh, I could have bashed on that fucking all I wanted to, but uh, it wouldn't come off. Oh, there she goes. I'm trying to keep all my bolts in bloody line so I know which ones they go back. There's really long ones, there's a whole set that are pretty much the same, then there's some short ones that come out of here. Um, Hopefully I can remember it all. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> now I'm starting to think that I've gone in over my bloody head. I thought it was going to be quite just a simple cover, but obviously it's not. Um, uh, do I ta try and take it off anymore, or put it all back together, pour some oil in it, and take it down the shop? Tricky. If Naomi was here, she'd say, keep going. <coughs> Yeah, I think for the sake of doing it bloody right, I'm going to just put it all back together and uh, I'll take it to Richard, I mean, um, yeah, make sure the job gets done right. Bugger, I wish I could have done it, but, um, and look, hey, I'm sure I could, but I just like to, uh, yeah, when it comes into that stuff, you know, I'm not a mechanic, I'm a, 
Now I'll give something a go, but uh, that looks all a little bit too tricky for me. Holy shit. Okay, so I persevered on a little bit longer. Had to take the gear stick off, um, which is that there. Um, had to take off the, um, yeah, had to take off the kickstand, the little, only because there was a one bloody bolt that was stopping that crankcase from coming off. So I had to take all that off. And um, so now the crankcase has come off. And now I'm going, uh oh, have I gone too far? <laughs> oh shit. So that's where the problem is, is in there. I'll see if I can show you the, uh, the hole or the crack on the inside. Yeah, there you go. That's it there. So I've got to detach that wire i to find where it, somewhere there I can detach it, that way I can grab that whole thing um, and then get that to Richard. Well there you go, bit by bit I'm slowly getting it. Um, man it's amazing, you just got to take so much stuff off just to get, you know, once, well it's not simple I suppose, but <coughs> yeah, yeah you got to take bloody so much stuff off, so I've taken out the um... I've taken out, um, well it was just a a plastic thing there, just a cover, taken that off, which then enabled me to be able to take the uh, tool box out. And what that's now done, yeah. So this uh, case here has that wire, and basically it went up in there behind the um, the tool box. But now I've found that runs up through here and there's the plug so I can basically unplug it from there and then uh, I'll be able to grab that and uh, take it to go get it fixed hopefully I'm hoping they can fix it um, and they don't say uh, you need a new one because that will be a real bugger but there you go so um, yeah, I'll get that off and uh, yeah go and get it fixed Naomi's going to come home, she's at work at the moment, she's going to come home and go, oh my god, you've done this without me. She loves uh, getting involved in all this stuff. Um, but uh, I'll need her help to bloody put it back together, I reckon. Well, there you have it. Oh, one crankcase cover. So, that's the way it goes. So that was the mend on the outside. This you can see it down there is what it looked like on the inside. Okay, guys, so um, as you saw, I, I got this off and uh, I took it down to Les Penner to see whether I could get it welded. And basically, he said it'd um, be much better off and most probably cheaper just to go and get a new cover. So, uh, what they would have had to have done was actually cut cut all this out here um, so that any of this stuff that actually starts to compromise the aluminium so they have to cut all that out and uh, then weld a plate back in there so um, obviously that takes a lot of time and effort which means money so <clears throat> I went down to ABS Motorcycles, the local Suzuki dealer here in Bendigo and uh, priced it up, the guys there were really great and um, it was only 315 bucks for that which I thought was pretty good and 15 bucks for the uh, the gasket so <clears throat> I don't think I can complain about that so all I've got to do now <clears throat> is take all all this stuff out uh, all that wiring stuff there rip all that out including the uh, couple of plugs there and transfer into that one so Hopefully I can pull it all out, no worries. Stick it all back in here. Get it all back onto Harry, pour some oil in it, and uh, hopefully it starts up and runs really good. Hey guys, so the other night I um, changed over from the old cover, one with a hole in it, 
Got all the bits and pieces uh, changed out into the other one. So hopefully now I can get this fit it onto there without um whoa shit. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully I can get get it on there uh, easy enough. Changing it over was pretty easy. That was uh, the hardest bit was just breaking the uh, the the bolts. They obviously had Loctite on them, so they were a bit tough to, to get off. But managed to do it all right and uh, put them back into the new one. Put Loctite on them, so uh, they shouldn't come undone. So if they come undone in there, that's it. The motor's fucked. All right, let's see if we can get this on. Well, me and Naya here. Trying to work, all my bolts got mixed up, so um, we're trying to work out where they all go. I think we've just about got it right now. It's just a matter of, um, you can see that. Um, yeah, just make, because they're all, there's a few that are different lengths. So we've just been going through working it out. And now I've got the gasket put on there. So hopefully now we can just, um, Basically, uh, put that cover on. Oh, Jesus! I didn't realise that when I took it off. Very excited now. Well, there you go, guys. We've got uh, the cover back on. You can see that there. That's all sol solidly back on. So now we've just got to put um, all the yeah, stand and the gear and all bits and pieces and wires. Um, yeah, just all the standard stuff, nothing too tricky there. So, uh, I'll get all that done and then I'll come back to here and put some oil in it and get it started up and you can see it start for the first time and see what happens. I filled it up full of oil <clears throat> and this is going to be the first time I've turned it over. So fingers crossed there's no nasty noises. Are we ready? Yep. Apparently we've got a drum roll in the background. <laughs> That's not too bad. But that's not good either. <laughs> it normally starts first time any every time. I got that on. So obviously it's just obviously because it's cold and yeah, there wasn't much oil in it. I don't know. Hey! 
No nasty sounds. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How's the um, oil was? How was the oil? Hmm. Uh, None. None. Okay, so I've just topped up the oil. And then I'll uh, see if I can get her into gear. And that'll be it. That's it, all right. Now for the gear. I'd say that's a job done. All right guys, hope you uh, enjoyed that. Um, and uh, keep on riding. Okay, Boulevard just went down. She's uh, got a leak, cracked the thing, we might be able to fix it.